Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran and I'm Leslie Draffin. We begin tonight with election 2018. Barry Johnson, the new Republican nominee for McLennan County District Attorney, is speaking out. And earlier today we sat down with Johnson about his win and the current district attorney and what he wants to change and much more. Good job, Dad. Barry Johnson celebrated a victory as the Republican nominee for district attorney in McLennan County against Abel Rada. Now he's looking to the November election and setting his platforms for why he's qualified and what he could inherit and what he will do about it, specifically Twin Peaks cases. It prosecute those cases aggressively, which cases should be settled or pled if those if they fall into that category and which cases should be dismissed and will give his team of attorneys a special task give them a 60 to 90 day window and have them look at each and every case under the microscope Johnson does admit that he has not seen the facts of the case files nor did he watch any of the coverage of the trial of Jay Carrizal but says that would not have been his choice for the first case to try saying many others would have done much better and the length of the time to prepare it didn't help and for those bikers whose lives were unnecessarily ruined, that will come back to haunt the county in the form of lawsuits in the near future. If those cases do start uh, coming in, it, that could be a big problem for the county. Just in attorney's fees alone, McLennan County could take a hit. Something else that he says needs improvement, the relationship between the DA's office and the police department, saying right now relationships could be better. And so that'll be first order of business is to make sure and repair that and get it where it is a good working relationship. Johnson leans on his background as a trial lawyer for over 30 years, running his own firm and meeting the burden of proof for cases in a timely manner. His home is Waco, where he grew up and he went to school, graduate of Baylor. His family still lives here and says he always had plans to return to Central Texas, though his campaign for district judge in Dallas County last year was unsuccessful. He says the timing was right for this job. Johnson did go as far to say that he believes corruption does live in the current DA's office, citing previously filed sworn testimony. He says he wants to get rid of that atmosphere and clean things up. To Abel Reina's office today for an interview, we did reach out to them. His office responded to our request with, quote, um, no.